Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashanti, if this is your first time here. If it's not your first time here, welcome back. And y'all, today's video is gonna be how to prepare yourself for a greater life. So I'm gonna be giving y'all five little tidbits that have helped me to elevate my mindset and kind of start accomplishing things. So if that's something that y'all wanna see, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the five things that I'm gonna be sharing with y'all have either one, being shared with me from people who have given me guidance or mentorship at some point in life, and two, my own personal experience. Because if you haven't really experienced anything, then what do you really have to share? That being said, the first thing that is on my list is to create everyday habits that will benefit you or elevate you in the long run. So I'll share three of my daily habits that I try to keep in rotation on a daily basis. The first one is to read. And um, when I say reading, I mean, it can be anything that you feel like is benefiting you or elevating you mentally, emotionally, or it's something that could be giving you a mental break from real life. I mean, reading is there for a reason. I kind of like to read things that are more that are more motivational because, um, I don't know, I like hearing success stories and being able to witness them, whether it's through reading or seeing it visually. I don't know, I just feel like that makes it seem more doable for myself. So I like reading about and hearing about other people's success stories. So. That's the kind of things that I like to read. The second daily habit that I have is to use a planner. And I use my planner multiple times a day. I use my planner um, at night time to plan my day ahead of time. That way I can kind of already know what I need to do so I can be productive and get everything knocked out. And I also um, use my planner kind of throughout today to make sure that I'm staying on task. And I use them of course to keep up with like smaller things that may not come up as often like doctor's appointments, orthodontist appointments. I don't know, I just feel like if I don't write something down, I'm probably not gonna remember it and it probably won't end up getting done. So I just use a planner to kind of help keep myself productive and keep myself on track. The third daily habit that I have created is to make sure that I keep a clean space. And this may sound, it does sound cliche, but for me, being in a clean space like helps me to be in a clean space mentally because if my room or the house is like dirty, cluttered, stuff everywhere, it overwhelms me because I cannot stand being in a dirty environment. So knowing that I kind of try to keep everything around me clean, keep everything in a place, keep everything cute, functional, that way. I know where everything is when I need it, but it's also out of the way. I'm sure y'all all know that one person who pours everything or like every time you walk into their house or their room like there's just stuff everywhere and you're like girl you didn't have time to pick this up before I came up over here. and like it kind of the way that I look at it is is that the way that their space look is the way that their mind looks so if people are like somewhere cluttered stuff is disorganized nothing is in its right place that's kind of what they're like mentally okay y'all the second thing that i'm going to be sharing is to set short-term goals that will help you get to your long-term goals and this is something that i would kind of think is very self-explanatory or something that people would do anyways but sometimes people don't actually take the time to think out the step that it's going to take to hit the goals that they want i think it's important to set short-term goals to help you get to your long-term goals because it takes so much stress off of you and you will not feel overwhelmed because you're kind of like setting little check marks, little checkpoints to make sure that you're where you need to be, but without trying to get everything done at once. So if I could break everything up instead of trying to do everything all at once at the last minute, then it kind of like gives me a pace and it also helps me stay in line with my smaller daily goals because if I'm not doing those goals, then I'm not gonna hit the short term goals. So. All of this stuff kind of like creates a snowball effect and kind of has to work together. So your daily habits are what will help you get to your short term goals, which will add up to hit your long term goals. The third thing that I'm going to be sharing with y'all is do not squander your time or money on things that will not help you or serve you in reaching those goals. I don't feel like I really need to go into too much detail on it. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can kind of tell what's important to people about where their time and money goes because those are literally the two most important resources. So 
put those things towards things that are going to benefit you in the long run. The next thing I'm gonna be sharing with y'all is to actually take time to meditate on the goals that you have set for yourself and actually envision what your life would be like once those goals come to fruition. Really, once you start to think about your future so much, like it's on your mind as if it has to happen. Like the more something is on your mind, the more it is gonna keep like just popping up, regardless of if you want it to or not. You think about it and it's kind of just like your actions will just gradually lead you towards that, which is why you kind of have to create, like you kind of have to use all these things collectively. Okay y'all, and the last thing, which is probably the most important, if I must say so myself, is to speak what you want regardless of what you currently see. And I guess, the easy way to say that is just speak affirmations. Speak what you want. Do not speak negative against yourself or against what you're working towards, what you're trying to do. Because when you speak negative, it does ensue. Like, it does come to fruition. Whatever you speak is what is going to happen. And, y'all, that's why this year, I like, so far, literally everything that I have wanted to happen has happened because I take the time to speak out on it. Like, I talk to myself every morning before I even get out of the bed. Like, so I already know what kind of day I'm gonna have based on how I start my day off by talking to myself. Like, if I wake up and I'm like, ooh, I'm not feeling this today. I'm, I know I'm about to have like a slow type of day, like dragging my feet just to get through the day. But if I wake up like, girl, you finna get yourself together, you finna be looking fine, we finna go do X, Y, Z, like, okay, I'm finna get up, I'm finna look good, I'm finna feel good, I'm finna be productive, I'm finna go on about my day and do what I need to do. So, how you speak to yourself kind of does show, and some people don't, some people think that they don't speak to themselves, but just think about it, the next time you, just like doing a simple task, pay attention to what you're saying like in your head. You don't even have to talk to yourself out loud out of your mouth because you have thoughts that you can actually hear. Like you have a little person in your head talking to you. So make sure that little person is directing and projecting positive because that is definitely gonna have an effect over everything. If you don't even do this one thing, the four previous things that I mentioned are useless. Don't even do those if you don't even plan to speak positive to yourself because you probably will not, you probably will not hit anything if you're doing all of that but you're still thinking negative about it. It's just a waste of time. Okay y'all, so that is gonna be it. Those are the five like quick little tips that I have on how to prepare yourself for a greater life. Like I said, these are just five little tips or five little things that I try to make sure that I'm doing within myself and I do have these things like written down so I can check and make sure that I've done at least all of them once a day. If you haven't already, y'all pick up some of these habits, pick up a book. Other than that, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all like to see like more little girl chat videos where I'm just giving y'all a little spiel, then just let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up so that I, so that I know y'all liked it. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.